Okay, so as the title states, we're going to be comparing the debloated driver to the regular driver. This is not going to be a guide at all. I'm going to be linking a video down in the description if you want to go ahead and follow and try this method for yourself. But what I'm going to be doing is doing a performance test between the current version that I'm on, a regular debloated or a regular version of the NVIDIA driver versus the second half of the video where it's going to be a debloated version of the driver using the same game, Need for Speed Unbound. And as you guys can see, we are going to go ahead and go all the way to the settings. Obviously, I'm on an RTX 3058 gig. And these are currently my settings. Don't use this garbage. Don't use this garbage. Don't use this garbage. Use this. So, currently... And I will include chapters, so we're going to go ahead and start off with this, go to the event, so, this is not a demanding game by the way, so it's always good. You guys can see I'm doing between 50 and 70. Yes. Oh. There we go. Why not? So, so remember the performance right now. Oops. And if I can edit it in, I'll, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. That'd be great if I can find a way to edit. But, who knows? Maybe towards the end of the video. There should be a way to edit a side-by-side -side comparison in. And also keep in mind that different areas, I mean, it may differ, but I'm hoping that there's a huge enough difference for it to be justified, but. All right, so around 50-ish to 70-ish and give or take. So we are going to cut to the debloated NVIDIA driver next, so... Yeah, see you soon. Okay, so we are back with the new debloated driver installed. This currently is the new debloated driver. Uh, again, link down in the description to two videos. If I haven't mentioned this already, I, I have mentioned one of the videos, but I'd recommend the first. I'm going to be labeling it. Be, if you go down in the description in the resources tab, it'll be the number one. If you do want, if you do have a uh, NVIDIA driver installed and you do plan on uninstalling the driver, I labeled the first one. I would suggest going through that video first. Once you uninstall the driver, it's the most recommended way. Go to the second video, which is labeled number two down in the description. That's for doing the deep loaded driver install. So now, with the same game, we are going to launch it and test the performance. We're going to make sure our MSI Afterburner is working correctly. So that, and our fan is set, so I'm going to make sure everything is working correctly. 
And so we're going to go ahead and launch the same game. <laughs> By the way, like, subscribe, optionally, if you did enjoy the video. Alright, so, pretty much that, that's about it. I don't know if it's a... It looks like it's maybe pretty much identical. Or if it, like, it might be a little bit higher. Obviously, what you're seeing here. So, as always, like I said, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, share. All of it's optional. But just wanted to do this demonstration and also do this for myself. A more deep loaded driver with less crap going on so uh, let me know what you think about about this down in the description hopefully if this does help you out like feel free to share the two videos I have linked down in the description or this video optionally as well and I'll catch you guys on the next one peace